What's up, creepers and geekers? Chris Atari Creep, and yes, here we are with another project. Um, a little while ago, I made this. It's the Necronomicon console. It's basically a Sega Genesis within the Book of the Dead from the Evil Dead. Um, and even when I conceived the creation of this many, many, many moons ago, uh, I'd always planned on making a controller that matches it. Nice matching controller for it. Uh, mainly for display purposes. The controller itself will be functional and it'll be able to be used, but it probably won't be the most comfortable. And again, it'll probably just be more of a display thing to go along with the Necronomic console itself. But seeing as when I built this, and I did film it, if you haven't seen it, it's my uh, 100th video Halloween special. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, something with the uh, voiceover didn't go well. So... Hopefully I can rectify that. Just, you know, talk about the techniques and everything I use for this. Because everyone was like, wow, that, you got mad skills and all that. Honestly, you don't need a creative bone in your body to corpse anything. That's the process. That's the name of the technique that we're going to use here. We're going to corpsify it. We're going to make it look like it has rotten flesh. Um, and generally speaking, you can't fuck up a corpse. You really can't. You can corpsify anything. I've never done it to a controller, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um but I'm pretty confident in the fact that we can get it done. And worse comes to worse, as long as it's aesthetically pleasing, even though it's a functioning controller, um, that's good enough for government work. So, obviously, we're going to need a controller to start with. So, I went through all... I have a ton of these. So, I went through these, and I found the one that was the most scratched up and ugliest. So, we're going to start with that. So, what else are we going to need for this project? Okay, so pretty obviously you're going to need a fucking controller. Um, one of the things we're going to need is uh, different kinds of glue. Uh, tacky glue is my favorite. This is always my go-to. You can buy this at Michael's or any craft stores. I think Walmart even carries it. Normally I'll have a bigger bottle, but at the time, this is all I could get. Um, regular Elmer's PVA school glue will work. You can go to the dollar store and buy school glue. That'll work just fine. Um for the skin itself, I use Viva paper towels. It's very important that it's Viva because it doesn't have a distinct pattern. It's very plain. However, when the glue soaks into it and then dries, it gives you a really nice texture. And you can actually pseudo-sculpt this a little bit, too, while it's still wet. And anything that you do with it, as far as layering, will always give it a better appearance. It'll make it look uh, uh, more, I, I don't know, pleasing to the eye as far as a corpse is concerned. Um, like I said, you cannot fuck up a corpse. And as long as you follow these real simple steps, you should be good to go. Uh, we're going to need a couple of different little tools here. Um, simple things, some screwdrivers. Um, I prefer to use a foam brush with glue because these are disposable. You can use whatever method you want. Um, a fresh blade on an X-Acto blade, and this will come in later on. Obviously, a whole bunch of different craft glues. I just prefer, I mean, paints. I prefer just to use a regular standard acrylics, and uh, you're going to need some Scotch-Brite or fine sandpaper, and uh, something else right here that I'm not going to show you right away that you're going to kind of be able to see it, and that's a surprise for later, and a baggie to put your electronics in, and of course, some fucking coffee. So let's get started with this. So just for the sake of being thorough, um, let's start taking the controller apart. Now there are six screws in the back. That's not hard to figure out. Um, remove the screws and be very careful. And just pull the controller apart. You'll find the guts right here. Pull it out very gently because it's in some posts. Have a look at the board. The board looks good. Um, you can take a pencil eraser to some of these contacts to clean them up. I'm not gonna play with that right now because that's not what this video is all about. Take all your electronics, put them in a little baggie somewhere safe, and your screws as well, and uh, put them aside. Now everything here is going to go into a bowl of very hot soapy water to soak. Um, I usually soak mine for 36 days, 4 hours, and 37 minutes. Um, an hour will do though. So, just get everything in there. I'll let it soak for about an hour, and then we're going to scrubby, scrub, scrub, scrub. Um, now, mind you, we're only really going to be dealing with this part here. So this is the part that we really need to make um, very, very clean. Now, if you were to paint a controller, 
you're going to want to take a lot more steps in cleaning these parts um, only because of paint adhesion and all that. For what we're doing, we just need to get this clean and scuffed up. So let's, I'm going to let that soak for about an hour, clean it up, and then we'll get going. The controller has been cleaned. We're, again, we're only worried about this part here. Let's soak for about an hour and I just scrub the hell out of it. You want to get into these creases and stuff. There's a lot of dirt and grime that builds up in these uh, lips here and there. Um, so you're really concerned about that. I just use an, uh, a cheap toothbrush. Get in there, soak it. It's a cheap toothbrush, rinse it. Cheap toothbrush. And I just keep doing it until all the little crap that's... You know, in all my years of cleaning controllers, it's a wonder a zombie outbreak hasn't fucking come out as a result of the crap that's on some of these things. But... That's neither here nor there. So now what we need to do is we need to, you know, enable the, the glue in this case to adhere to the uh, controller. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Scotch-Brite. Um, you can also use a fine sandpaper or steel wool to do this. And I'm going to hit every, every point on this thing. And basically what you're trying to do is get rid of the shiny on here. Get rid of anything that's shiny. And uh, make the thing completely dull. After that, we're going to rinse it off again and let it dry thoroughly. And we can start corpsing the fuck out of this bad boy. Now, like I had mentioned before, there are a ton of ways to corpse something. Um, a lot of times people use cotton balls and liquid latex, liquid latex and paper towels, toilet paper, uh, glue and toilet paper. What I'm about to do now, if you choose to go the liquid latex route, don't do it this way. Brush it on. I am literally going to just goop on the glue, get coverage. And then I'm going to smear it with my hands. Um, be, you know, don't be gentle with this. Go ahead and get it everywhere you can. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to spread it with our hands and get it on every bit of the surface that we want to cover with skin. And we should be good to go. All right, that should be enough there. So now I'm just going to literally get this all over the place. Supposing the camera would be nice, right? Do, do, do. We're, not, we're not concerned with cleanliness or uh, evenness. You just wanna make sure every surface has glue on it, so. And you, you know, this is just like regular school glue, just on steroids. So you will have some work time with it. Don't worry about that. So I'm debating on whether or not I just want to do the face and worry about the sides, mainly down here at another time. But here we go. Pretty much covered. Let me grip the inside here. Get this covered. Steal some glue from over here do that okay now clean your hands the best you can get your paper towel and you don't have to be gentle with this either you don't have to be spot on perfect or anything because again any any creases any marks in here are just going to add to the aesthetic to the whole thing so if we did our job well when this cures in about an hour or two, we'll have the base for what we're going to work with. Uh, right now, it's just about coverage. We'll worry about details later. You just want to make sure that glue is in there. And on. And good. We'll let that dry. All right, now that I've let this dry just a little bit, just one more quick step for prep. Um, I just got a little bit of that glue and I added just, you know, just a minuscule bit of water just to give you like this kind of thicker, milky consistency. And we're just gonna coat the whole thing. That's all. Um, this will help uh, make this a nice hard skin. It'll also help um, conform the paper towel to the controller itself. I have doubts on whether or not it's going to work 100% on this kind of a surface, but I've corpsed enough things, so I know um, that we should be okay. Again, even if this is only for display purposes, 
I'll be happy with that. So, uh, so just give it a nice layer of glue water mixture and let that dry 100%. And like I said, it'll, it'll protect the, the, the skin of it. And as you see here, it's already starting to give it a little bit of a texture. And uh, yeah, that's it. Then you let that dry. I'll do the other half off camera and we'll come back to uh, layering. Hey, what's up folks? The Creep here. Thank you as always so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more. You can follow The Creep on social media and feel free to reach out at any time here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Creep would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you, take care, and bye bye